Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be um, using code.org and I'm going to be running through the artist level in code.org. So as I've already done a few levels on App Lab and I've also done Turtle. So if you guys haven't checked that out, you may as well just go check that out. And let's get started. So first of all, artist is like it's basically a drawing function. You can draw many things. You just need to find the right piece of code and fit it to the right to in the right sequence. So first I'm just gonna try drawing a circle to start off. Now we all know a circle is three hundred and sixty degrees. For those who don't know, you just want something new. And where since the circle is three hundred and sixty degrees, we're gonna have to turn turn a whole three hundred and sixty degrees. But then we're also gonna have to move forward. So we can just go move forward by one. And every time we move forward one, we have to turn right one degree. So as you can see, they both match. As you can see, they both match. And then we can go to loops. And we can chuck this in the loop and type 360. So I'm just going to go ahead and type 360. And there you can see, as you can see, we've got our circle. Now say I don't want my circle down here. I can move the character beforehand. So I can move him right maybe 270 and the circle would end up there. If I had to move him 300, this my circle would end up there. And if I move him 180, my circle would end up there. So we're going to put another repeat loop inside of this repeat loop. And this is what you call a nested loop. So what a nested loop is, it's, it's basically what it is now, so adding two loops into one. So, yeah, now we now we can just, now every time, I, I want to do multiple circles, not just one circle, multiple, but I don't want to have to keep repeating this code again and again and again. So I'm just going to use one more repeat loop. But I, I wish to jump forward one every time I, every time I, finish the circle. And I also wish to turn right one. Turn right about, we'll start off with 20. Let's see how it goes. So how many times? We'll just start off with 12. Now, as you can see, it looks quite cool. So maybe to fill, to fill the whole thing, we can do 20. And that actually looks like a great pattern for beginners. And it's and it's quite easy to do it with such a simple code. Now, it's instead of using black, you can make it more colorful. So if you want a certain color, you can take the select color. And you can, if you were to chuck it in here, everything would go red. But it's kind of hard to show with one color. So I'm going to do um, set random color. I'm just going to remove this. And as you can see, they're all random colors. Now, as as you can see, all the circles are a random color. But say I want every tiny bit to be a different color. I could chuck it in here. Now, as you can see, every one degree I move forward and every one degree I turn right, I will have a different color. And, it, it, and it's up to you guys how you like it. You, some may like it, some don't like it. But it's absolutely your choice. And to be honest, that that quite that looks quite cool. And you can also do do as I said before and just do the colours fully and just put it on the top here or underneath here. Now, every time you make a major movement, um you can see that they turn. Now, when we go into slow mo we will be able to see that our code functions perfectly. Now, the reason our code is functioning perfectly is, of course, because of this, but because of the way we have written it. If I did maybe, if I if I did this first, the outcome would be the same, but 
if I did maybe instead of putting my if I accidentally put the jump forward here and I put the turn right down here it would look the same as well but as you can see when I was here it did not look the same reasoning is because I'm putting it within the repeat loop and it cannot look that look the same within the repeat loop. But you have to kind of admit, it does look cool. And you can just set random color and there you go. You've got a, well, a mighty good looking pattern there. So there are billions to trillions of patterns you could do with this. Now I'm just gonna set up the code like I did before. But instead of, you don't only have to do this with Circles. You can also try doing it with squares. 30 and 90. And don't, that looks great, but I need to do it 360 times. I only need to do it four times. And I could make this slightly bigger by making this to maybe 50 pixels. And if I wish, I could make it to 100 making it a very cool looking pattern. As you can see, the squares are replicated everywhere. And if I were to even make this bigger, they would all look, they will all come in the same outcome. So there's not really a difference. So yeah, that's another one, that's another way. Now, another one you can do with is triangles. The triangles, this one is my, well, I could say personal favorite. So you move forward 100 pixels, turn right 60, because triangles equal to 180 in total. So yeah, basically that's that's the basic idea. And well, as you can see, the pattern doesn't look great, but if I only did, if I only did one, you can see that it didn't turn out as per I wish. Now, I got all the code right, but I didn't get my starting point right. Now, what I mean by that is I didn't start in the right place. I should have started over here, but I did not. <laughs> Hence, I was not able to make a, the best of my triangles. Now, again, we can fix this or we can just make, um, we can just make the triangle in the position we want it. So, uh, we, could in, uh, we can make it turn right 300 degrees and it would come here, 180 degrees and it would be a straight line, 90 degrees it would kind of be a square and uh, I think it's 60 degrees and you could get this. Now the only problem with this is every time I move forward I turn left. Now, there has to be three points, but I need to make one more huge turn. So I need to control C, control V, and add one to the top. So when I add one to the top, as you can see, I get a perfectly normal, amazing triangle. If I did three, I get more. If I did 10, I get a lot more. And you guys, get, you guys should get the pattern by now. And as you can see, Triangles look spectacular as well. You can do it with 200, making it more spread out, and you can change the colors as per your wish. You can also go and set the color to your choice. Instead of red, maybe I can make it this color, which, in your opinion, whichever looks good to you is your choice. Now, one more thing I wish to show an artist is the brushes. Now, you can set the color to uh, randomize colors, and yeah, they, they, it, it would turn out like that. But this is something a bit more in-depth, which I will re um, later introduce in my videos. So, the one, one, another one I want to show you is the width. I can change the width, width to, like, it's, you normally want to put the width to the t on the top, because then all the code below it will follow the same formula. Now, 10 would make it quite big. Zero, zero 
would turn it to normal, and two would make it skinny, and one would make it very skinny. Five is something I prefer to stick to, but it's your likeliness of which you like, and there's nothing that can change your opinion. And I'm also going to go through the loop. So this was the repeat loop we used, and this is a count by a loop. So this is a loop where I'll discuss in the later on videos. We basically use it when you're using variables. The variables are over here. But these are some things to be explained in later videos. Now, a function I will be explaining here. So a draw a circle. Yes, it, it I, instead of doing all this code, I could just fit the draw a circle in here. Now this is the, instead of writing all of this code, I could have used this little one to just draw my circle. So removing all of this, I would need something to set it on, and I could maybe start off here, draw a circle, and what, what what's the radius? Maybe we could go into math, grab this, and the radius, we could start off with 10. And as you can see, it draws its own circle. Now, these are where functions come in really handy. I, c I just wrote a, everything that took me to write this, and I just need to set the color underneath, on the top, and boom, that's it. I, everything I did here, I may as well just have done it here. Just add a repeat loop, add the jump for forward, and I've just shortened my code down by four pieces of code. Now, functions, you can draw a house, draw a pinwheel, draw a shape, draw a square, star, triangle. Now, you can also create your own ones, like a sphere if you wanted to do it, uh, maybe a rectangle, etc., etc. And that could shorten your code a large piece. But I'll also be explaining these in the next video of my artist tutorial. Now, Variables, uh, well, it's something like declaring something where you can just hold a lengthy piece of code. It's like a storage area, and it's a lengthy piece of code um, stored in a storage area. And a comment is something you wish to add just to remember. So this is also in Python, which I've made a Python tutorial. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. So comments are just like they are in Python. They don't affect your code. They're just there to give you reminders or something. So they're kind of like notes that I'm going to be taking into the code, but they're just going to be like there for your reminders. So comments are really great, um, a really great type of code, even though they may not be used a lot. Hence, they are gray and don't have much color. And logic is the last one. Logic is where you get the if, else, and if, else functions. And you can also get the greater than, equals to, less than, et cetera, et cetera. So th this is something you, I'm, not, I'm also going to explain in my later video. But yeah, that's basically it for the beginner's tutorial today. And yeah, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Also remember to hit that notification button so you can stay updated for my la with my latest content. And keep an eye out for the next artist tutorial, which I will be posting very soon. Till next time, this is me signing off. Also, if you guys have any questions, please remember to put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See ya.